Let's take a closer look at Wilson and how he uses this system. Wilson sees the video about air pollution and gets inspired by it. He wants to participate into the research and decides to integrate the sensor in his car. During the driving, he sees the air quality surrounding him through a dynamic visualization in his car. When he drives through the city, where he works, he sees that the level of pollutants is quite high, and when he arrives home, he wonders why. He opens his tablet and sees the summary of his last vision route. Some zones are highlighted where the levels were particularly high or low. Wilson clicks on the city where he just was to look into his measured quality. He sees that the level of pollutants were above the healthy level. He also gets insight about this location's history and sees that the amount of pollutant in this city is getting higher. He decides to look into it. Through the other information channels linked to the app, he sees that it has been one still for several days now and that there were a lot of diesel trucks. He wonders what it would mean for his personal health and what he could do about the current situation. The app also gives insight about alternative travel methods and he can calculate what the positive effect of that would be. As many people have reacted upon the air quality data through social media and even the news, the government sees it and decides because of the weather predictions to ban big diesel trucks temporarily out of the city. Also, the public transport get a 40% reduction for everybody for a few days. Luckily, next week when he drives to his work, he sees that the air has become better. As the time passes by, he becomes more aware of what the air around him means for his health. Together with many others, he can seize the effect of the measurements.